To access the study plan, log into our Canvas course and go to the modules list. At the bottom, you will see a module for the final exams. Click on My Math Lab Study Plan. Load it in a new window and you will be brought straight to your study plan. Now, there are two ways you can use the study plan. You can use it as if you were looking at the entire class at one time, or you can narrow it down by assignment. Right now, I am in the show all mode. What this is telling me is that out of all the topics we've learned in the class, what I need to work on next is place value, names for numbers, and reading tables. Whatever is highlighted in green is what I should click on first. So this means I need to practice it, and I will be given a few questions on how to practice, and then after I practice, I take a quick quiz. If I answer the questions right on the quiz, then I will earn that mastery point, which means that I have mastered that particular topic. Below, you will see some more recommendations of what I should study. If I scroll down, it will tell you what I have recently mastered. So the graduation cap means that I've recently mastered that topic. The push pin means that's a topic that I need to work on. You can also look at view progress. As a whole, this will tell you all the chapters of the entire class. The dark blue shaded areas tell you what you've mastered. And if it's not shaded, it means you still have to work on it. And it tells you a list of what you have to work on still. Let's go back to the main study plan screen. So this was the show all mode where it showed me everything in the whole entire class that I need to practice on. Notice there's 335 mastery points in the entire class. I've earned 28 of them based on my performance. Yours should be a little bit higher because you've worked in the class hopefully a lot more than I have. I've only done a few assignments just to get a couple results in here. Now, if I click on show by assignment, you'll see how this total amount of mastery points is going to decrease. Now, this um, little dialog box pops up and there's two assignments I can work on. So what I've done is I've created a study plan for the first part of the final exam, which is the exit exam. And then I've created another one for the second part of the final exam. So you can study for each part of the final. So let's do the first one, the exit exam. Click on go. And now you'll notice there's only 31 mastery points. So what that means is that this exit exam covers these 31 particular mastery points. According to my performance in the class so far, I've only earned one. Like I said, hopefully your number is a little bit higher. So what that means is if your number is higher, it means that you're already proficient in most of the 31 mastery points that are going to be on the final exam. Now, the setup is the same, except now all of these recommendations to study, these are only coming from the 31 mastery points that are going to be on the exit exam, or they're only coming from the 31 topics that will be on the exit exam. So this will really help you focus your studying. So it tells me the first thing I should focus on that's going to be on the exit exam is this exponent square roots and order of operations. So definitely I want to practice that. And you'll notice it'll open up what looks like a regular homework assignment. And I will go through and I will work on these order of operations problems. And you answer them just like a homework assignment. These aren't part of your grade, but what they're doing is they're helping you study for the final exam. And again, they're only giving you problems that they've recommended that you need to practice on based on how you've performed in the class. So everyone's study plan will look different. Not everybody will have the same list of items to study. After I finish that practice assignment, this quiz me button will become green and that will give me a quick quiz on this topic so I can test myself and see if I'm really ready to master that topic and if I'm really ready for when I see that question on the final exam. You'll notice there's the other one for part two of the final exam. So you'll notice that changes, there's only 26 mastery points. 
So the final exam, part two, is based on these 26 mastery points. So far I've earned five of them. Again, I hope your number's a little bit higher. And again, it tells me what I need to practice. Now, if I scroll down, if I want to see those five that I've already mastered, if I scroll down, I have a lot of scrolling to do, but if I scroll down and I click on Objectives Mastered, I will see the ones that I've already mastered down here, and then the ones with the push pin are the ones that I still have to work on. So I hope you use this study plan. It's a great tool to help you study for the final exams. It will show you what you already know how to do, and it will show you what you need to work on.